Hello everybody, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing fine. Before we get started on our nightly update, just wanted to show you uh, Elvis and Roof. Roof is a healer, and he's still pretty little. Uh, he's going to get way bigger than Elvis, but he's the puppy too, and he he's not interested in doing too many paying attention to tricks yet. But Elvis is catching on quite, quite good. So y'all listen to listen to this one here, or watch him do this one anyway. Elvis, sit up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's a good boy. Good, good boy. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Later on, we're going to get into some more, but it's a little hard to do with two puppies right there to show you what all he's learning. But he's learning a lot of stuff. And when we get time, we'll do more. But we did get another drone fly over tonight, or today. And let's watch it. And I'm sorry about the pot belly. Oh, sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah, and by the way, since we're right here on this particular point of the Orville Dam, uh, I want you to pay close attention to this very clear shot of the Orville Dam where the supposedly sinkhole was supposed to be, which is here. Now, with this particular shot, you can see the lines of the erosion going around and you can see it running through this as well okay there's no doubt no joke there's nothing there and never has been okay uh, and i'm not doing that to hurt anybody's feelings i just like for the truth to be told not a lie I, i'm sorry if you don't like that please unsubscribe don't watch my stuff i'm just telling you the facts if you don't want the facts go to the liars that's just all there is to it all right now let's watch the uh, the rest of the video here <coughs> and we may stop a time or two I don't know why they did that but it's kind of cool to watch it go with such a clear camera and let's stop right here now we've seen them do this before right here and what that is is they're drilling holes and putting uh, explosives in the ground and it causes they doing that so they can actually dig that mound down so it doesn't collapse into the hole and hurt someone while they're working on it now someone reported that the other day that there was some small earthquakes in the Orville Dam area and it reported 1.1 whatever well that's probably not an earthquake at all it was probably the TNT that they were using to blast into this rock okay so you know I mean it's gonna cause a, 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 a little reaction to those meters uh, to show some shaking, okay? I mean, it, it's just, it, y'all know that. I mean, it, the, the ones of you that watch Dutch you, you, and we talk about fracking and all that stuff, I mean, you know it was caused by, of course, them working and trying to repair the Orville Dam, Okay? Not nothing creative. Now, if it would have been like a six or a seven or something like that, then yeah, that would have been a quite a bit of different story. Okay, but that ain't what happened. And you do see where they're at. They're on the right side. They were doing some on the left, although I think that was, I think that's further up the mountain here or hill. Let's go back up just a tad. 
uh, maybe just a little bit more uh, maybe some more I think that might have been up in this area but now I don't know that for sure and actually I don't think that's it at all either I think it's down lower I think it's down here on the bottom half we'll look down there when we get there on the video and oh they cut that crap off quick as you see you see how they're actually where the road used to come in and how they're digging it out and how high it was here and what they're doing I ain't quite sure why they're doing this yet I'm sure they'll inform us they speed it up again here for some reason and I f know why he keeps wetting the concrete is to keep it from tearing up okay right here right in here is where I was referring to them doing their blasting that they were drilling over in this area for blasting which it looks like they've already done it and cleared out what they were blasting although they do still have a drill point here but they got a couple down here on the broke up spillway so they may be finding out what's underneath to see if there's any saving of any points I'm assuming but I don't know but it it is a very clear video and I can tell you that wow oh yeah and this is the uh, parking lot and that's where they got the big machine uh, for the flat surface I'm assuming this is where they're gonna do the operation or maybe not but I think that's where they're gonna do it and this is also the back side of the spillway this is the emergency spillway here and this is the spillway itself and here again a very good clean shot here is supposed to be what everybody reported as a sinkhole which you can tell it is not sinkhole and you can see the line run through there and around and it's just different a different shade of rock debris mud whatever you want to call it all right that's just all there's to it it's just a different color in that spot <coughs> oh yeah and also to inform y'all that this has not been under water for a very long time okay last year this time there was no water in here there was no water that could even go over the spillway so this being washed in and washed away uh, over the time and on and off back and forth of the last few days of course it's gonna do all kinds of each time it might that, that dark color might be up here next time or over here who knows it's because it was not underwater for several years folks several years okay And I'm not quite sure why they're building a road right here, but they are. Maybe it's temporary, maybe it's forever, which I don't think it is. I think it's just temporary. But you see what they're doing here, just like I do. What it means yet is yet to be seen.
Well, we didn't get much more tonight with the Orville Dam. So, well, we're over here, and as you see, the inn has been a little higher than the out at times today. And the in's been, I mean, the out's been con very consistent pretty much within a few hundred being different. The in has changed dramatically at different times of the day. Uh, at 12 o'clock it was slight. And then the later in the evening it gets, the actual more there is. I'm assuming that is from uh, snow melt. Okay. Now I also want you to, to also see and pay attention to this is still 48.02 in that spot. Doesn't mean it ain't getting rain in other areas like most everywhere else would get. But I'm just saying and showing. And here you go with the meter. It's uh, 827.75. Let's hit refresh because the out is less than the in. Let's see if it changes any. And it has not. So, wow. Now, we got some reporting to do about our, our fire, uh, the MIMS fire, Noki for Noki. Hold on. All right, everybody. Now, since we seen everything, now let's look at our weather. And look what we found here. Look at all the frequency rings that we possibly see. We got two in Nevada. No, we got one in Nevada. The other one's coming out of, I uh, don't know the state right offhand, but it's right next to it. California is getting tore up by three different ones. Texas has got three different ones. And we got the one going across the Great Lakes, which has been being there quite frequently. And then we have some very severe ones in North Carolina and South Carolina. One's on the east coast, I mean the east coast of uh, one of those states. I can't tell because of the rain. And the other one looks like it's in the mid-states of South Carolina. And that's right in the middle of all that storm that's going on. It's just passed by Florida here, or it's still here somewhat, but also to report on our uh, MIMS fire at the Okefenokee Swamp uh, today and last night's news report on the fire, they had it 60% contained. That was last night at 11 o'clock. Now today, basically, they really didn't talk about the fire, mainly because of all the rain. So I'm sure that it's more contained now, maybe more like 80, maybe 90, and maybe even out. Maybe it's under 85, 95% contained now. This is my opinion on this part, because I'm not sure. But as much rain as I'm fixing to show you, uh, let's look at that. Over here, as you can see, 0.72 inches of rain. Now, that's within the last several hours. Uh, that's an hour that I picked at this time because it's more or less. Uh, we're going to go back here to the beginning. And we're going to play this through a little bit so you can see for yourself. This was at 12 o'clock last night at 6 a 7 a.m. Now, and it's fixing to change. That's 1,400. And that's 20. And it's passing by as we speak. 
uh, we're into Tuesday now but this right here is uh, let me get this to stop this right here is what's happening there as we speak right now this is the actual happenings and going on is right there at the moment okay this is this time right now okay so they're getting 0 0.78 inches of rain now let's go to look at what the rain accumulation is and it says 34.8 well, that's three days let's go back to 12 hours 12 hours is 31.7 millimeters 24 hours is 34.8 millimeters let's go here uh, let's change this to uh, well let's back up three four point what was that damn uh, 34 point eight okay eight equals one inch point three seven and they got it in a, a very good big hurry and it is happening at dark so in my personal opinion I think tomorrow they will report that the Mims fire is a hundred percent contained but that's just my opinion and I may be wrong that fire might be a lot harder than I think it is but they they are actually getting 1.37 inches of rain at this present time or what they have in the last 24 hours okay <coughs> so back over here you see for yourself the, the activity that's going on and all the frequency rings that are blasting out all over the place uh, we got one up here in Canada as well isn't that sweet and we saw the the new flyover of the drone tonight and what they're doing and let's take a check and just make sure well I wanted to come over here and make 100% sure that they haven't posted any new photos these photos is the ones we showed in last night's video so you can see them for yourself and there's all the pipe that they were using so with that folks if you like what I do and what I've been showing y'all please come over subscribe to the channel um, hit the, the gearbox and hit the check mark in it so you can light up the bell like this and you should or you're supposed to get my feed in your channel hopefully that'll work and if it don't it's not my fault so don't blame me that it don't come to your feed it's just something that's going on with the system so with that from my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it abolish corporate government for your freedoms much love to y'all and y'all have a good day a good night and we will talk tomorrow much love